Hello everyone, in this video I'll show you where all the beacons are located in Lords of the Fallen. This is required for a Deer's quest line and the Inferno ending. First things first, we're going to warp to the Shuja Hamlet, which is where we fought the Hushed Saint boss, the first boss in the game. And it is a long run back to this boss, so be prepared. I will just show this how to get there and uh, just enjoy. After that's done, we're now going to warp to Upper Kalrath for the next beacon. This one's a little bit easier to get to, so just stay tuned. The Crow's Nest is the next beacon we'll be headed to in Lords of the Fallen. This is a relatively easy one to get to. It's just going to the Crow's Nest beak or vestige here, and we just go down the ladder. Really easy to do, so here it is. Next, we'll be going to Hollowed Brothers and walking our way to the Tower of Penance, which is probably the most annoying beacon to go to. So stay tuned here. This is the pathway to get there quickest and easiest. Oh! <laughs> 
The final beacon we have to go to is at the Empyrean, and this is where we fought the Judge Cleric, the Radiant Sentinel, which is kind of essential to go to last, since we're going to go inside of the Judge Cleric's mind, and that's how we can get the Inferno ending. So here it is, the final beacon in Lords of the Fallen. <laughs> 